So the very first thing we need to know in taking a look at the OEM Mitsubishi ECU, it's going to be airflow based. So we have a mass airflow sensor, it's gonna be installed on the intake. It's going to be registering how much air mass is entering the engine. We're gonna be converting the air mass into an injector pulse width or to the fuel delivery to our engine so it runs properly. So understanding this and at a most basic fundamental level, if we look at the mass of any substance, it's gonna be the volume multiplied by the density. So if we're talking about the mass of gold or the mass of water or the mass of air in this case, it's gonna be the volume multiplied by the density. So in this case, the mass airflow sensor is gonna be taking a look at what the volume of air entering the engine is at any given time, as well as the density. And this is gonna be super important, the density portion of this, because at two different temperatures, let's say we have our, our engine operating at 30 degrees Fahrenheit and 120 degrees Fahrenheit. At 30 degrees Fahrenheit, the density is gonna be much greater. We're gonna have more oxygen molecules packed into that same volume of air. If we take a look at that same operation at the same volume of air at 120 degrees, there's gonna be a lot less oxygen molecules and then therefore the air mass is gonna be a lot less. So the fuel delivery is gonna be based on air mass. So in this situation, we're gonna be able to account for that and we'll deliver the proper fuel accordingly. Now, speaking of the fuel delivery and how it's gonna be working, we have a basic equation that's gonna be essentially operating here in the background that's going to be taking a look at our air mass and a target air fuel. It's actually gonna be our fuel mass is gonna be equal to our air mass divided by a target air fuel. And that's actually gonna be how it converts the airflow reading or the air mass reading into an actual fuel delivery to the injector. So let's take a look at this real quick. So the air mass is gonna be coming from our actual mass airflow sensor. The target air fuel portion of the equation is gonna be coming from our actual target air fuel table we'll find that this table is gonna be three dimensional. We're gonna have values in there. It's going to be 14.7 at idle and part throttle. As we get up into higher load portions of operation, it's gonna be increasing or dropping down the target air fuel value, or it's gonna be making it richer in this case. Uh, so we don't have any kind of engine damage occur. We can kind of see how that's gonna go. And there's actually gonna be two different tables. There's gonna be a minimum octane and a higher octane or a maximum octane table. We'll talk about those in a little bit later in the video when we're talking about our spark timing. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.